Kenyan pastors wana vile menyamaza hivyo nyamaza munyamaze kabisa wana vile mpotea hivyo potea na mpotea kabisa hataki kuwaona tena hataki kusikia anything from you people nyinyi ni mafala na nyinyi ni wajinga namba moja wamekuwa mnatumia sio Kenya sasa ile sisi tunaenda ku demonstrate hamkuwa anywhere tukakuja tukapiga kile tukapiga kile tukapiga kile hamkuwa anywhere then after that ni mkaenda set house mkapewa pesa mkakula mkajifanya sijui ndo mnaongea na president sijui mnaongea mnaongea on our behalf of which atu kuwatuma mkapewa mabaasha za brown mkarudi kwa makanisa yenu unakula mapesa zenu saa hizi mmenyamaza when wa Kenya wanaumia you people are nowhere right now and then sile tutarudi ku demonstrate tena sile tutachukua sheria mkononi sisi wenyewe tuanze kutafuta hawa politicians ndo mtaanza kutokea mwanze kusema oh Uh, don't pay evil with evil wewe sasa hizi tumeamua tumefika place ni tunaenda ku pay evil with evil sasa hizi mtu akituibia tunaenda kwake tunachukua chenye alituibia na tunanyang'anya yake yenye alikuwa nayo hapo ndo mali tunaenda sasa hizi sasa hizi hakuna ile story tulikuwa tunaambiwa ati sijui kipigua kofi huku hivi atunapea na huku pia upigwe kofi huku haya hapana tumepita hiyo place sasa hizi sasa hizi ukinipiga ukinipiga kofi na kupiga ngumi ukinipiga ngumi na kupiga fimbo sasa hizi ndo tumefikia hapo kama wa Kenya because these are stories nyama pastors mmekuwa mnatuambia mlikuwa mnatuambia stories za kijinga na watu walikuwa wanatumia hiyo kitu kutu control na kutaka advantage on us hizo story ya tuski sile tumeanza ku demonstrate sile kumefika hivi tumefika tuko tunataka tu, tumefinya government vizuri tumeshika makende na nyinyi mnaanza kutokea pale oh let's have talks mnaanza kutuambia oh god is gonna pay eh watalipa sijui mungu god is gonna punish them sisi hatujali kama god atawapunish hela mabana ju hata kama god atawa punish in hell ama kama god ata send curses on them hiyo haitu affect us in any way hiyo ta affect our sisi tunataka kuona things that affect us directly and we want to it to affect us positively not negatively the way we are being affected negatively yeye yeah, kama watalipa watalipa mungu sijui mungu atawalipiza whatever hiyo ni yao but here on earth there are some things that we need to fix from these politicians and this government asa my pastors you fail kaa kando msiaifungua hiyo mdomo wenu tena ama mkifungua hiyo mdomo tutakuja kwa hizo makanisa zenu pia mtatuombea nini mnahubiria mama zetu by the way hizo sadaka mtaleta pia nyinyi ni wezi namba moja wengine hapa inafaa mlipisha ushuru na hizo makanisa zenu bure kabisa secondly kuna hii group ya politicians wenye wako opposition politicians hatutaki mtu support wewe kawa ni politician na hata uko opposition wewe join government sasa hizi join government enda mkae na ruto sasa hizi mkule because hata ujifanye uko opposition sisi hatukutambui you are imposing yourself on us ni sisi bora kama mtu uko na any corruption scandal na we ni politician hata ujifanye uko opposition sisi hatukusikii we are fixing kenya and when we fix kenya we are fixing every everything we are fixing all these politicians wewe kama uko na corruption scandal and you are in opposition wewe enda tu kwa government ukule protectiwe na ruto huko because this thing is us kenyans against corrupt politicians It's not us against the government it's us against corrupt politicians so hata kama ni corrupt you're not part of us yes you're in the opposition you're opposing the government but you're corrupt you're not part of us because wewe ni mwizi sisi siwezi so it's us versus you we will come after you pia wewe tutakutafuta hata kama uko opposition atutaki mchezo we are clearing these things that's why in 2027 we are going to elect people who have zero corruption records because i'll tell you guys how these things work Mnaenda mnapigia mtu kura na kuna some corruption records. Huu mtu ni corrupt. Definitely ataleta watu wake wako corrupt. Na mtu mwenye ako corrupt haizi uweza ku face of corruption. Because any time ana try ku fight the corrupt people atamwambia na wewe, mhm, mm unatupiga vita pia sisi tutawasha yako moto. And that's why Kenya never changes. We elected the most corrupt person in the world or in, in, in Kenya to be our president. That's why we are in this mess right now and we are going to clear all these people in 2027 whether they are in opposition or in government provided someone is corrupt they are going to go nataki kusikia hao wale nyako kwa opposition and they are corrupt they are trying to kujifanya wako na our side ama sijui watu wanatutetea sisi hatutaki we are not associating with them they are not us they are not us hao say ni different na sisi they are thieves we are not thieves hatutaki mambo yao na kieleweke kieleweke na kieleweke hatutaki ujinga Tim Sprint and Timokua karibuni sana na leo tungependa kuongelelea mapastors. I've seen a certain conversation pale mtandao 
watu wengi sana wanasema mapasta wanyamaze vile wamenyamaza sasa hivi yes because wakati GNC walikuwa wanaandamana walikuwa wamenyamaza i think muweze pia kumsikiza huyo kijana ambaye tumeweka video yake mmemmsikia vizuri sana amesema wakati GNC walikuwa wanaandamana uh, mapasta so walikuwa wamenyamaza uh, wa, wa, watu GNC waliuliwa no body talked about it baadaye wakaenda pale state house, house wakapewa envelope wakatoka Awajai kama uti hata vile morara amekuja ameonyeshana like kuna corruption inaendelea waongee part of the, like wapiane wa statement opinion, opinion awajai iongelelea so leo nikaona ni vyema tuweze kuiongelelea kidogo mm. pengine wewe kama um, mkuu what can you say about pastors now first let me tell you a simple thing mm -hmm. churches were introduced to Kenya by whites fine how is Kenya without religion Religion does a very simple thing. It somehow neutralizes things to the right way. People tend to reason the right way in that you mind about your brother. But basically about religion, the most important thing is your soul. What you think between you, your, what you think about your neighbor, even your relation between you and God, isn't it? Now, people are bestowed there who are supposed to be in charge of those institutions, or facilities where people go to do what we call getting spiritual nourishment. Now, these people go there, they go as the congregation, as the audience of the pastors, and the leaders there now are the ones who are, we are talking about here today called the church leaders. When it, it comes to the Kenyan perspective, let me tell you one simple thing. Uh, in 2013, when Uru Kenyatta was trying to buy and William Muruto, the church leaders played a significant role, particularly the deliverance church a significant role on delivering William Ruto as president and, William and Uru Kenyatta. They prayed for them, they used to do IBC right, left, and center. Uru Kenyatta, and of course William Ruto won. During that time, we didn't have any church leader talking about the corruption cases that were raised by the government, that were discovered within the government. Money was borrowed right, left, and center and being misused, but these people never talked. They kept quiet until 2022 now. In 2022, church leaders simply propelled William Ruto's campaign to state house. They ensured that William Ruto has been accepted in various regions, in particular, the mountain. And church leaders spoke to us and told us how William Ruto is God sent, God fearing person, how he's going to deliver the country, why they believe him, why they think Kenya needs him. People listen to him. But up to this point, there's something that they were taking advantage of. The congregation. If you speak to 100 people in a church, coming from different families, imagine that's 100, each of them goes to, each of them tells at least 10 people. Mm -hmm. That's more, almost 10,000 people will be approached within a very short time and the campaign it across the ground. So these people who go to church, to be honest, they have so many problems. Some of them, they believe in pastors. To go to them, they share with them their problems. They go as vulnerable beings. Now, they pray for them, okay? They pray for them, they ensure that they're okay. So just to give them hope. They go home with hope, all right? But of course their problem is not solved because they have just been prayed for. Yet, the problem-solving skills, you know, God gave us the mind, the hands, the feet, the eyes to think and do things that we are supposed to do to rescue ourselves. But generally, spirituality brings hope to us. But now, when it comes to the issue to do with campaigns and elections in this country, it has been reflecting exactly what the churches, the church leaders are. Before I take even to the elections, I know you've seen churches where a person cooks chapati at home, leaves the husband and the kids hungry, yeah, text to the church leader. Mm -hmm. And they don't care. And that church leader cannot even ask, have you left some for your family? Do you have even want to eat at lunch? So long as they receive, they don't mind. Yeah. I get it this. Mm -hmm. It has been reflected on the Kenyan politics. Why you find a pastor, a church leader somewhere, a father, when I'm a, an, a bishop, an evangelist, 
when a leader wants to talk to the people, here is the platform. They speak to the people, they win their hearts, they get the support. On the other side, them they are punched with some huge amounts of cash. And this has come out from various pastors and church leaders who are saying that once you have gone to a stand uh, function, you are told, Kuna baasha, I'm after. Isn't it? They are punched with a huge amounts of money. Whenever the politician requests to come, they still come. Okay? So, it reaches a point the politicians have taken it that a church is a platform for them. It's a political platform. That's why you can even find William Ruto promising to build churches across the country. That's why you find Sintifana Susora and some Uda, Uda people mm -hmm. saying that they have, they have to build churches in various constituencies. Yet there are no roads. There's no water. There's no, no school fees. there's something behind yes. building churches and yes. contributing to the churches. To, black, to, 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 black to brainwash. Brainwash. They brainwash church, the church people, uh -huh. the women. The Sasa women, Harper, people. if mm. the pastors are brainwashing uh, the wash pads, mm. Na hapa politician, they want to brainwash pastors. Mm, Kenya waki. That's a big challenge. Now, that is simply the history I've just given on what things are right mm -hmm, now. Mm -hmm. But now let me bring you to the things that the actual things that happen in the country. I want to take you back to the campaigns, of course. William Ruto was in very many churches being prayed for. Rela Ding also went to some churches. We can't deny that. Mm -hmm. Giving huge amounts of money, all of them. But William Ruto was too much. Okay. A part of the part of the money that William Ruto is now paying is returning to himself from the taxpayers' money. It's the one that he gave pastors, evangelists, bishops across the country. Mm -hmm. Now, they campaigned very well. When it came to 27, 2022 election, uh, announcing at Bomas, you all know there were kills. Four IBC commissioners left and I went to Serena Hotel. And then, three of them remained in, a, in, the, in the bombers of Kenya and pushed to announce the, reza, the result. Right. From a normal understanding, you can see very well that mm -hmm. ordinarily that the two factions that developed from the ABC was an indication that things are not okay. But the head of the Anglican Church, Archbishop Jackson Olesapit, despite the chaos that were there, he went ahead to pray for the election results to be done, what? Announced. Mm -hmm. Yes, there was one day still left. They could have given time, isn't it? Mm -hmm. These people, as a church leader, this gentleman, Jack Jackson was a bit, who is a pretender, simply could have asked IBC chairman, not even William Ruto, because William Ruto is just someone who is coming to be announced as well as a candidate. Mm -hmm. What is the problem? At least they harmonize before they get to the peak of the function of announcing the results, isn't it? Instead of harmonizing, even calling Chebukati and the others, they sit down at a separate place, at a, dif a different hotel, they sit down and discuss, you guys, what is happening? Before we proceed, let us first know what is the problem here. He assumed, simply to achieve William Ruto's plan of making him the president of the country, the country. He took sides. As a church leader, you can't do that. Because there are people from the opposition, both from and also government, who come to the Anglican church. Mm -hmm. Are you getting this now? As if that was not enough, William Ruto took office. Pastors could go to state house, have a meeting with William Ruto. William Ruto could visit them back in churches, make promises in the church. In the church, Kenyans started experiencing difficult life step after another. And Kenyans started crying. William Ruto introduced something called Finance Bill 2023. It was affecting teachers, it was affecting doctors, because someone was asking, I'm having a loan I'm paying for that I took to build a house. That loan was meant to build a house and buy land. Now the government has added another burden. Apart from the loan that I'm paying, which takes huge amounts of my salary, mm -hmm. to take more again to build another house somewhere. And then still the government sells the house to me in the future. Despite all those cries, that's just an example of a teacher. Mm -hmm. Despite of all those cries, all the church leaders in the country kept quiet. They didn't listen to these people who were crying. Being a church leader, there's an advantage you have. You are a leader, first of all. Second of all, you can access the current leadership. 
being an archbishop, you can easily get an appointment and status. You can easily hijack Ruto's event and talk to him in one of the functions in the churches. Tell him, Mr. President, this and that. But they kept quiet. Teachers, doctors, Kenyans cried. The church leaders kept quiet because they have the only thing that they get. As if that was not enough, Finance B 2024 was introduced. Parents, guardians, wazis, nyanyes at home they started asking questions. We paid huge amounts of money in form of taxes to the government mm -hmm. in Finance B 2023. Now, in this 2023, we've not seen even a road being constructed. Loans are still being borrowed. Kenyans are still crying of the cost of living. Where are you taking the money? Before we bring the finance B 2024, first let us use the 2023 one mm -hmm. and use it where? Where? Now, they told us, our sons and daughters, reject. So we rejected. Mm -hmm. We started our campaign in the churches. Mm -hmm. We went to the peaceful on, online, online saying, yeah. please, let's reject this. Mm -hmm. Life is difficult for now. But these church leaders kept quiet. It went ahead until young men and women were shot right in the bil parliament buildings of Kenya. Someone shot by a sniper straight in the end. And William Ruto witnessed that. Presided over, presided over this. Kept quiet in status as Kenyans were being butchered in the parliament buildings. The church leaders who never approached him before to tell him this thing, because you know, the challenge of finance between 2024, it was right from the homes, where someone is not able to buy some things. So the congregation of the churches, which are the people of Kenya, had the same problems, isn't it? And the church leaders knew it, unless they knew and ignored, or they didn't want to know and they didn't care. So they had the powers to know them, to, to get the information from the congregants, and they had the powers to read the president and tell him, please, this thing, it's hurting my people. The congregations that we have, they have so many problems. Mm -hmm. And if you had this one, it will make it worse. They did not do that. Kenyans got killed. After they've been killed, church leaders were now aligned to status. Mm -hmm. Sat there with William Ruto, took pictures for us, and of course, given their money, and they went back to the churches in the name of cooling down the country. Imagine. Kenyans got so killed. Strange. They could have just gone and tell William Ruto instead of this. We didn't have one demonstration. Mm -hmm. We had around three before going to where? Parliament. They could have taken even one and then they go to state house. And tell William Ruto no. Listen to these young women, young girls and boys. Or maybe listen to the Gen Z's. They did not do that. Until we were killed, they got happy and felt like now oh, this is the opportunity for us to do what? To go and get money from state house. They went. But I saw some pastors online supporting the Gen Z. There were a few individuals. These people, let me tell you one simple thing. You can, I told you one simple thing. As a pastor, as a leader, okay, you have the ability to reach the president. If, for instance, a church, or if I find an Anglican church member, leader, or maybe bishop, or maybe evangelist, or maybe pastor, mm -hmm. speaking on the pulpit, telling the congregants, we don't want this finance bill. Yet this pastor has his head, maybe always a bit, whom they can sit and have a, a crisis meeting with Jackson Lesapit. Tell him, before the next month, next Sunday, please go to the president. Let this, this, and this be stopped. Instead, they kept quiet. They, they were just pretending, showing us they are with us. You get? Mm -hmm. They had a channel. They can forward these things all the way to the, to the president. But instead, they ignored that. They felt, no, let's just speak and align ourselves with the Gen Z's and millennials. Mm -hmm. That is why, even until when Kenyans are rejecting the finance between 2024 and are saying no to it, you still find that a whole church is still interested on in getting money from the president, calling you in your ruru for what? For fundraising. Which resulted to Gen Z's occupying that church. You remember that time? Yes, yes. And you will have from there. Yeah. You find a church leader somewhere still calling the, the, vice, the, woman, the first lady, uh, loving to, I think, to come and still fundraise things that are affecting us in this country. They steal money, they call them to fundraise our money. So to send me, can you say na shirikiana yi mambo na corruption? Hata wawa na kawa muliko kabisa. The church leaders are corrupt in this country. 
Were it not for these wazees who go to church and women, who are their customs that they go to church, were it not for the reasoning that our hearts, okay, these scriptures where they say, whenever people want two, three people meet to pray, God is in the midst. Were it not for that, easy cancer is empty. empty. Look at how pastors are making money from the people. So a pastor comes online and says, I lazima mlipe sadaka. Inaishi aje, inakula aje. Because they want money from the people. Pastors or whoever these church leaders, most of them that have they in churches, they live not even that's good. Life beyond luxurious life. life. Mm -hmm. Let me use that term. Karen, Lovington, driving big cars. I found one time when I was in Kikuyu. Mm -hmm. I found an evangelist. He was having a Harrier, this new model that had just come. Back in 20, 2020, one kid came. Hey, what's the secret behind having this car? First, I'm going to go. Then, Kamuliza, what do you do? Can I be an evangelist? I get this. Okay, I connected very quickly. These people getting money from Kenyans to enjoy themselves. And the civic education right now, Mara, need to focus on so the church. Unajua kuna kitu ingine uu wanachuliza. I know even most of our fans who wanachuliza hivyo. When a pastor wants a car, atanda kwa kanisa, awambi wa mchangie, wanunue. But when a mtu mshirika anaitazi, yeye atambiwa, awambi mungu atamusaidia. And this thing called like, I mean you God is going to say, you are going to receive money in your account. Who is going to send money from nowhere? Yani mtu ameka hivi tu afanya kazi, ushtukie pesa tu from nowhere kwa account yako. Yani tumepreneweoshi wa kiasi ya kwamba, we agree of anything yenye tunambiwa like God is going to give you a good car. How is God going to give you a good car if you are not working so hard? I sit and go to God to give me a good car from nowhere. Wewe kama pastor, mbona basi ukuomba yu mungu wako wakupatie yu good car, ukaenda kuomba kwa kanisa watu wakakutangie wakupatie. And these people, I usually ask myself, you know I've been doing child to work. There is a certain story we went to say it is a Kenyanya ama somewhere. Imagine, jirani wa huyo mtu, mtoto flani tulipelekea wheelchair. Only a wheelchair, awako wanaitisha anything. Kuna fathers and my sisters kwa hiyo boma. Na wamezenga wako na pesa. But next jirani yao, ata wheelchair. We heard the case. Ana wheelchair. Ana wheelchair, tukampatia. These are the same people wako na magari, wako na kila kitu na kanisa iku hapo next. Now I was asking myself, hii ni kanisa ikuwa hapa. These are fathers and sisters wako hii boma na nikuwao. Uyu ni zirani yao. Yani wili tepeke ya kawezi wakampatia. Let's say basi ya wako in good terms. Why do you punish an innocent kid? Mwanya jui labda maybe mulikombana na mama haki ya manini. Na as good Christian, should you have grudge towards parents maka uwekele kwa mtoto? So I told like in this country, pastors who are to let down. Church leaders. Church yeah. leaders yeah. who are to let down. Because yeah. Mimi have been going through the animal in Bakan Angalia. There is a case, Juzi Tutu Mefanya, up a need was it? In South Zina Kidogo, but in Kikumukan Takwambia. So that, that case, Kiambere. Mm -hmm. That case, uh, Ni Mama Mingine Nini Mjane, mm -hmm. Nimbake in Anyesha, mm -hmm. Nimbu Iko Karipu at Kwanguka. Na kando, kwa barabara juu hivi, ni kanisa. Something, something came into my mind. Hii ni kanisa iko hapa, hui mama na nyeshewa. So what's the role of the, these people in the church? They can't even support the community. They cannot even the support, support the community. So, in fact, guys, uh, see, tu, wanasema tu, tusionge kanisa vibaya, tuyonge no, no, vibaya. No, no, no. We, we are just giving no. out our views, mm -hmm. but mm -hmm. watu wa kanisa wamekua let down. So, nini watanamazi wa mokuwa the informer and Cyprin TV? What's your... Before, before you end up, mm -hmm. Right now, there are so many problems in the country. Look at the JKIA. As one of the guys was saying on TikTok. Mm -hmm. Look at JKIA. People are going to lose jobs. Adani taking over. A very short deal that we're having here. Everyone is rejecting it. Mm -hmm. The church is what? It's quiet. It's quiet. 
Right now, doctors, teachers are striking across the country. Mm -hmm. They're not even talking to their leaders. Kuna watoto waliaga pale in Russia, the church has not said anything. The church has not said anything. Mm -hmm. But you realize now, them, they only want anything that benefits them. Mm -hmm. We are not fighting churches. We are fighting these corrupt-minded church leaders. Mm -hmm. People are taking advantage of the church to exploit, uh, they exploit the poor people going to the churches. Mm -hmm. That is very wrong. Wow. That's very wrong. Okay, so Tim Cyprian, Tim Okwa, tuatia po comment section, you to do a mkona maunigani. Thank you so much. See you in our next video.